Is everything in the book completely factual? Actually, yeah. Sorry, Mike. I'm not asking that question for myself. I'm asking it for the viewers. Somebody has to pay now for this. I don't know who, but <laughs> an eye for an eye, bro. Wow, Mike's parents. Did you tell Jeff that I had one of those? Oh, this is a new addition to the set. Oh. Uh, I got my mom got me this for Christmas. I have one just like that. Do except you? It's, except it's bigger. On the desk? Yeah. Well, not on the desk. <laughs> you got a little punching bag at home? Yeah. Nice. Just like that. It's just got the suction cup on it. Nice, nice. So I don't know if Mike told you guys, but we got a big trip planned for the Rolling Stones concert. This that no, was a Christmas he didn't tell gift. Us. Uh, no, we didn't. We didn't talk about it. Well, we talked about it. But so you don't we know didn't. that we're all... That was my parents' Christmas gift. On oh, top really? of other things, I gave my dad some weed and some cash to go gamble. Okay. But uh, yeah, they're, they're excited. They're excited. My mom's excited to go... Do we have tickets? With... Do we have tickets? I'm going to just inquire that you speak right into the microphone. Hello. And also, and also, just throwing this out there, you guys ain't strangers. What, Mom, you look like you got one ass cheek on that couch. Why don't you move in towards your ex-husband just a little bit? <laughs> this is so funny because it's no, like... No, my legs won't fit. It's fine. It um, reminds me when I had my parents on the show. I did like a 9-11 Survivor uh, video, so I brought in my mom. And mm -hmm. because it's my mom, like, you know, we could make kind of dark jokes. Yep. But it didn't go over well with the audience. They're like, what? This is so insensitive well, you that know, you're doing this. You know this. how I feel about that. Like, I know yeah. there's been a lot of things that I've said to Mike in these videos that you weren't too happy about. And I just feel like I need to address I them. I know you're only and joking. I want to apologize because I know how they come off and I even see over in his comments sometimes there'll be like one little dummy that doesn't <laughs> get our friendship and how East Coast guys are. You got to really dig into trauma to really get a laugh out of us. You know, it's it's hard to just say a joke that's not really offensive to it has to be offensive to at least one person to, for it to be funny I'm, a, I'm like my son though i don't like mean people i'm not mean i mean uh, i don't like people that hurt other people's feelings so. see that's where i get it all from you know i'm always talking about the importance of being nice to each other empathy being good to one another and kind that's where I he get gets it from. so much hate <laughs> everyone in his comments is comment oh your your friend is uh is an asshole and all this or whatever they say. I don't know what friend they're talking about, but he's he gets so much other hate and the friendly jokes that we throw at each other. He says uh -huh. so many things about my eye. You know what? I don't care. Anything's fair. I'm not. Your I'm eye, not, I'm your not, eye I'm looks not, great. Thank you, but I'm not. I'm not, nice, I'm not fishing for compliments. I'm not no, playing the victim here. No. This is a. This is my apology to you, Robin. Thank you, Jeff. I I see a lot of my own mother in you, and mm -hmm. I think you guys would make great friends. Yep. I'm excited for you guys to go to the concert together. When when is it? I'm nervous. I feel like I'm in trouble. Like I, I feel like I'm in parent-teacher conference do, right now. Do, wait, do we actually have tickets? We don't have them yet, no, but that's thanks a to today's sponsor, SeatGeek. <laughs> that is true. We are sponsored by SeatGeek. Awesome. SeatGeek is the best place to get tickets on the web. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports, festivals, and more. As you guys know, we'll be buying our Rolling Stones tickets on SeatGeek. And we're using my code Jeff to get twenty dollars off. You can use that to get twenty dollars off your first purchase. You can, you guys can use that at home right now if you go down to the link in the description. Plus, they put all the tickets on the web in one place to make sure you're getting a good deal. And each ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee. So just look for the green dots. Green means good. Red means bad. That's how you know if you're getting a good seat or not. And SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. Go down to the link in the description now, download SeatGeek, and use my code Jeff for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code Jeff. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. Thank you, SeatGeek, for sponsoring the show. Let's get back on with it. Where are they playing? <laughs> Where is the concert? It's yeah. at MetLife Stadium. I think that's in Jersey. Wow. Right? Yeah. I mean, how much longer do we really think the Rolling Stones are going to be around for? One of the premier iconic bands of in history right you've got you've got of people course. like the beatles you've got the rolling stones not many no, other we don't people have, we don't got the beatles but you know anyway. what i mean not many other people live up to that level yep. maybe someone like a t swift who won her fourth album of the year award the other night Whoa. but Ro still rolling, rolling stones. stones mick jagger yeah the, these the kids fact don't that get he's it. gonna be he, he's 80 years old and they're entering what their 60th year of playing in concert yeah and their whole band has been together, all the same guys, until the drummer died last year. Did I you see the Beatles made that new song with AI? Yes. They were able to finish yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, my mom's a big fan of the Beatles. Yes. You guys are the, basically the same. Well, uh, well, how old's your mom? She's 68. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. The same age as my mom's 67. 
No, not yet. My mom's 60, 67. 66. 66. Oh, oh, so wow, you're way younger than You're her. like Jeff's mom's sure, little yeah. sister, yeah. basically. It's a big deal. <laughs> it's a big deal when you're younger. But I guess when you get older, you all kind of be, become the same it's age. The same. Like Mike and I, we, we, uh, I feel like I'm like the same age as him when we hang out and stuff. That's not what you always say. Well, you're there's right. jokes. Don't, don't you call him the old man? And- the, no, I don't do that as much <laughs> as the younger guys do. I mean, dude, listen, you got to listen to it. I'll think more about my insults to Mike okay. from now on. Okay. Um, but speaking of uh, the Rolling Stones not being around much longer, I was watching the Grammys last night. Okay. Did you guys watch? Part, yeah. It's like a lot of celebrities in one room, you know, and I'm a child of 9-11. I'm like traumatized by like at any moment something could be hit and you're just like, you get a phone call. Wait, they blew this up. All the celebrities are dead. We have to get all new celebrities. Was I the only one thinking that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's almost like it makes you think, like, I wonder if they keep, like, some of the, like, some of the celebrities in cold storage almost just in case. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe some of the, maybe some of the artists that they said died aren't really dead. They're just cryogenically frozen. Yeah. So that if a pl- airplane, for some reason, flew into the Grammys, they would have Aretha Fr- Franklin, for example, to bring back to replace, you know, one of the people. But what do you guys think would happen if all the celebrities died? Do you think we just find new celebrities? Do you think there's undiscovered talent out there? Like there is another Beatles and Rolling Stones out there that just haven't got their opportunities. Other people are taking their spot. Mitch, take the question. Well, why limit it just to celebrities? You want to get politicians too? Or sports people? You want I mean, to get Super Bowls coming up? Absolutely. I mean, what if... Some- I'm not promoting these attacks. I'm just saying <laughs> I, I have been... What if something I've, happened? I've lived through one. You know, my mom. I got a phone call. Your mom game. is in the building. It was just blown up. Dude, is you this know? a manifesto right now? Like, are we just putting together a hit list? I got to stop talking about these things on the show. What was the worst thing Mike ever did in his childhood? What was a moment where you were like, I'm going to give up on him? I'm done with this kid. I've tried everything. He, it's He's unfixable. He's broken. He's not mine anymore. You're not my son anymore. Like, uh, I don't think I ever Boston said that. Boston George's yeah. mom says in Blow. I don't think I ever said that. Have you ever seen the movie Blow? Yeah. Yeah. Where he comes home, Johnny Depp, and he's been arrested like four times. He's, I think he's a fugitive on the run. His dad's Ray Liotta. Yeah, his dad's Ray Liotta. And he's like, come on in and have a drink. And his mom called the cops on her own son. You're yeah. not my son anymore, George. Oh, I've called. No, I didn't call the cops on you. When, when, yes, you did. No. <laughs> a few times. No, See? she wouldn't call the no, cops, but she was always come. there when the hey, cops were coming. They would come. You were mad at me. Themselves. I never called the cops on Mike, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't no snitch. <laughs> you should have. No, 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 never. I would never do that to a friend. So, um, but my mother's been there. She's been in that same situation with me where she gave up on me. I was in jail. I had a cousin that was on the force. He was a cop. He worked at the precinct that I was in the jail at. And I got arrested on a Friday. So I had to stay over the whole weekend until court comes back on Monday. Mm-hmm. And my cousin was like, do you want me to like get him out? I could get him out of jail right now. And my mom said, no, leave him in. I want him to learn his lesson. Did you learn your lesson? No, I got arrested oh, seven great. more times after that. <laughs> but <laughs> Didn't work. Did you ever have something like that with Mike where you're like, no, you like you need to go like get away, go get help. When he got, went to, where'd you go? Connecticut Valley. Valley. Yeah. My father did that to me. Yeah, his father was mean. He uh, he, was, he, was he mean dropped brother. my brother and I off at a, a terrible housing development in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Yeah. When we were bad. He dropped us off. We were six or seven years old. What were old. you doing that was bad? Like graffiti? Like throwing rocks at each other. Throwing ro- yeah. yeah. And he dropped us off and he said, now you guys stay here and see what it's like. Uh huh. And he drove away, and we watched him out the window like this, you know, and we we're crying. And yeah, it was a mean thing to do. Yeah, and it's a dangerous thing to do too. Yeah. <laughs> what were some of the disciplinary tactics your dad would use on you? Oh, I don't know if you want to go there, uh, Mike. No, I didn't. No, it's no, fine. we were it's... open about it. I, I tell stories all the time about how my dad would beat the shit out of me when I was a kid, but it was all rightfully, you know, I deserved it always, and it was light taps with like a. They didn't deserve it. Who? His, no, his no. Yes, we did. Oh, yes, I don't. Did. I don't think. So. I don't want to bring anything painful <clears throat> up, yeah, Dad. It's, I just, it is painful. Well, painful. it's not painful now, but it, <laughs> it was but painful it, then. I'll tell you what it does is it it um doesn't put a lot of credence in the in the stories of how people that are disciplined when they're young will do the same thing with their children all the mm-hmm. time. You know how psychiatrists say that it's a cycle. Or they yeah. say it's a cycle, yeah. yeah. As bad as my father used to 
discipline us, I never once laid a hand on Michael. Dad, that's not true. You just smacked the shit out of me at the dinner no, table. I did not, no. What? Are you so, guys fucking kidding me? You're not gonna gaslight me on Jeff it, FM. I remember what happened. Dad, you used a, to hit a, me for it, the it's dumbest an reason. Show. Mom, you what are you talking about? You were there, you were sitting at the table. You would sit right to the right and dad would fucking backhand me at the table. Never. Are you serious? DCF used to come to the house. <laughs> what are you talking? <laughs> Jeff, you set this no, up. Listen. You said yeah, the put DCF was at the house one for time. Abby one time. One time. Yes. But because all- Mitch hit her by accident with a hanger. And, and Abby she called? went to school. No. She went to school and she said to her teacher, my finger really hurts. And she goes, oh, honey, what happened? My father hit me with a hanger. <laughs> She, just, they, she, she, she was too young to me. know they yeah. called that you me. couldn't say that. The yeah. police came. I went to school. They said, you can't see her. I said, can I see my son? They said, you can't see him. The police are in the office. We had to have DCF come. They dropped it really quick. They stripped my sister naked, bro, without you. No, without, they did not. What? Mom, yes, they did. They Why are you butt. guys? They, they looked, looked at, at her butt. butt without my parents' presence. Why are you guys trying to make me seem like I didn't live my <laughs> so life? It was I like, feel like I'm in fucking the movie Identity right now, and I don't know which person I am. Just turn me into a schizophrenic. We don't, we don't remember Dude, what he, life you lived. He, I'm, at this, this I'm point. not <laughs> throwing him under the bus for this. But you're trying to tell me he would come home, all the shoes would be in front of the door. Remember, he'd come home, all the shoes would be in front of the door. That was the biggest thing. He would open the door after driving for 40 hours from work from North Kingston, Rhode Island. He would drive for two hours, two that and from. You what did you do he would come in. The first thing he would do is he would trip over the fucking shoes at the front door. And then he would be like Donkey Kong. Oh, punch one in the face. Two left hooks to whoa, Jill's whoa, face. This, is, this is, sounds exaggerated. What did you do for work? If you don't mind me asking. what Were you a bus driver by any chance? No, I wasn't. <laughs> no. I just learned that, that your whole family. We come from a family drivers. of bus drivers, yeah. Jeff, you missed your calling. Genetic disposition. It's not too people. late. Like, I'm sure I could, or maybe I'm too old now to get into it. Oh, I didn't never knew that. I just, you know, I just saw her. You know, the worst punishment my father ever um, dealt out on us was that he made us copy the dictionary. <laughs> Wow, that's brutal. That was well, harsh. There were some other things. Well, and then we had to select. He used to keep the electrical cords on the wall. And Two we used by to select fours. the select the electrical cords that he would beat us with. Yep. And, and what so about he, kneel? Yeah. What about kneeling and pepper peppercorns? Corns. Yeah, kneeled and peppercorns, and uh, he used to cut rawhide switches and. <laughs> You know the things this that this is interesting stuff because well, stuff that you use today on some women, you know. But sorry, what? Oh, you mean like sexually? <laughs> yeah. Oh, but I mean okay. he didn't do that well, with us. No, I'm not say. interested in that part of okay. it. I'm interested in just parenting <laughs> and growing up and how that affects the outcome of the rest of your life. Like, did you did you ever have any addiction problems, or is that just something that skipped the generation straight to Mike? Because uh, I see my dad having I see like six beer cans, you know, and I'm like. I could see he, my dad. He don't have like a problem. He didn't get drunk and beat us up. And I don't think he's like dependent on alcohol. But I see the gambling. Like he bets on horses and he drinks. And I feel like I get my addictive personality from him. I don't think my father um, gave me any addictive characteristics or traits. Anything uh, that he did didn't come back on me into an addiction issue. But he I, made you not want to put your hands on your kids, and maybe that would have kept him off the stuff. It was a- that's my father saying. Dude, I'm telling you, you got it wrong. My mom's lying to cover up. Why right would now. she lie, dude? Has, has she maybe ever we, lied on my behalf? No, Never. actually, that is a good point. But but how are you going to say no, that, dude? He did, mom. He, I tell the truth. Because <laughs> my parents had that approach with me. They, I'm the baby, so they were very strict on my older brother and older sister. My older sister had to be home at 10 p.m. And if not, my mom would take me as like a, a toddler, and she would be in her nightgown, and she'd show up at the party. And she named her Karen, too. So she would be like, Karen, get home. It's 10 p.m. And she was the worst for them. So I saw that, and I was like, I'm not listening to anything. The second I hit 13, I was like, I'm out. I don't listen to nothing no more. And I learned the hard way. I got arrested a lot of times. To to be 100% honest, Jeff, I think about the things that my father did to me, and I absolutely respected him for it. Mm -hmm. Because when I got beat, I deserved it. I was throwing rocks with my brother. We broke a $300, at the time, $300 Anderson window, and he got a beating for it. Okay? Yeah. He left us to, to do some work. My father was a carpenter, and we were work with him when we like were kids. Jesus. Like Jesus' father. He would leave us on the job, and my brothers and I would start doing things that we weren't supposed to be doing, and we got a beating for it. Mm-hmm. You know, and on the days when he wasn't with us, my, you know, I would go home and break a window and put somebody's head through it and the 
glass would cut their neck and stuff. And my mother would tell my father that I did that. Sounds like a propensity to violence that you would sometime later take out on their son at the dinner table for not eating his vegetables. I don't hide my vegetables under the potatoes. This is probably tough for you guys. We do this all the time, so we're comfortable with it. I'm nervous having parents here always. I don't want this to be your legacy. I don't want you to be known. The only clip that goes on for you in life online is about you beating your son. <laughs> okay, let me... You know, I, never, so, I never did. You yeah, never did. Me, yeah, but that's how we're painting this right listen, now. And that's he, how you want me to paint it. He probably so that should have. Dad, do you ever hear about the island called the North Sentinel Island where no people are allowed to go to and if you go to it, they throw spears at you and shit? Yeah. Do you know what that is? Yeah. It Does that type of topic it's interest... Off, it's off the coast of India. You know, he knows what it is. Does so, that interest you? That type of topic? Not particularly. <laughs> uh, what about what about this? Do you think we should leave those people alone, or do you think we should fly some drones over there and do one of those like drone light shows and mess with them just a little I bit? I think we should leave them alone. And what okay. would happen if their island blew up? <laughs> would we replicate? <laughs> and there's celebrities on. And there's celebrities on. <laughs> yeah, you want to put the NFL players there Maybe that's on there where, too? what's his that's name? That's where he went with it. Jeffrey Epstein. That's where Epstein is. And Tupac. Right. <laughs> okay, we don't have to do this. What's your proudest moment of Mike? When he bought the house or when he put out oh, the book? Oh, so mad. Oh, the book. Is, that, is everything in the book completely factual? Actually, yeah. Yep. Sorry, Mike, I, I'm not asking that question I for myself. I'm asking I it for the couldn't, viewers. I couldn't read the whole thing over again because I lived it. And yeah. It was, it was hard. It was, Should it be made into a movie? I don't know if it would help people, I guess. Who do you think should play Mike if they were to make a... Oh, boy. Adam Sandler. I don't know. Uh, they would no, have to de-age him with that he's technology they did in The yeah. Irishman. It would be terrible. Miles Teller. Oh, no. You know who I like? The, the cute kid. But he's British, isn't he? Um, they, they, from these Dune. Kids? From these... Dune. I love oh, Timothy I'm Chalamet? Chalamet? Oh. He's from New York. What? <laughs> Is he from New York? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Timothy Chalamet. Oh, he's way God. out of our budget. But he's young. <laughs> <laughs> He's way out of budget. 40. What about Denzel Washington or something? A little. Mix it up a little bit. <laughs> I mean, the- no way. He was already in one of those with his mom. What was the movie? Um, American Gangster. American, American Gangster. Gangster. Yeah, do something like that. That's it doesn't not, have my to- story's not a, like American Gangster. You could change things. Look at what they did with The Little Mermaid, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I think you get Denzel to play you. That'd be sick. <laughs> the Little Mermaid. Who would play his mother? Well, the same lady from Blow. The no, same mom. It won't match up. <laughs> Aretha Franklin. <laughs> no, she's dead. Ah, oh, shit. Is well, you she? think she's dead, is but she? in reality, she's, she's being protected. <laughs> just in case a plane hits the Grammys, bro. You know? Come on. I mean, what happens there, you know? <laughs> well, I watched it. Jay-Z had a Kanye moment. When is this, this episode going to... This will all be old news. No, it comes then. out to, in two days. Oh, I was going to say, by that time, Aiden Ross will have 15 more viral moments. Oh, yeah. Man, yeah. that kid is on fire. My mom loves Aiden. She calls him. She calls him a little kid. I said I met him when he first got here. He was a mm. little kid with a real nice car. Now he's a little kid with a lot of money. It's nice to see the he's, come ups yeah, yeah. and the hard work. You know, well, he I hope do- he doesn't go off the rails. So. He's been on and off the rails ten times. That's my bro- That's my son. That's my little brother. My my nephew. And he is on top. He is the he is the most important thing in the streaming world right now. If you look at Aiden Ross, he in a weird way is kind of like uh, Logan Paul for the streaming generation. Remember when Logan was at. Uh, at uh, what's it called, sixteen hundred Vine? Yeah, and he and he created this collective and of other like minded people. When he pretended to get shot and killed in front of all those exactly, kids. Exactly. Yes, but take that part off. <laughs> take that part out of it. And he almost like. Do you cre- remember that when he did that? Stop uh, changing the topic, Jeffrey. He created this collective of of like minded people. Are you pulling the clip up? <laughs> we have, to, bro. That's so ridiculous. It was crazy. That he did that. You're like, can you show this? Oh. <laughs> Is that subscribe button? Are you? <laughs> no, no. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. <laughs> Who told him this was oh a good God. idea? <laughs> See, this is before Mike. This is before Mike came in and fixed things. Logan. That is insane. Logan. Dude, I would never believe and for him to do something like that. Listen. He might talk too much. He might take over podcasts and yap and yap. He says intelligent things. Sometimes we need to edit him down to about 50% makes the cut of what he says in here, which will probably happen with that last segment that he just did. But what just happened with Logan? You see the old Logan. Mm -hmm. 
he was a piece of shit doing that in front no, of all those kids. No, he wasn't. He, it, was, it was a bad idea. It was bad a bad idea. idea. Yeah, and, bad and, idea. And, and there wasn't somebody around like Mike who is, you know, we call him the old guy, but he's wiser and he cares. He has that's that's, how, that's how Michael left Connecticut and that he was coming to be Logan's babysitter. Well, that's what they called yeah. it, but that's yeah. not really. <laughs> I, I don't view and I him as Logan that. Logan did really well after Mike. Okay. Where's absolutely my, where's my equity absolutely i think yeah I, I think that too mike and i i didn't even know if we would get along at first because he was we were like part of different cliques but now i see him as like a brother i can relate to him on so many things we can relate to each other and we're the last two that are still really out here that are real friends in this business i'm not i mean he has logan and they're real friends too but like we're here in la still getting robbed dealing with the robberies all the crime and stuff like that where can you go to get out of here i kind of want to well i'm gonna go back to new york and get a place there in spring and i'll be closer to the fam also mike wants to do miami i love miami i used to live there so that's like my second home i would go back and forth from there and that's like everybody else where's mr beast and all north carolina mr beast has his own town and he's not it's called beast town he's not collabing with us sponsored by feastables no not with you but with other people pod who how about who are other big podcasts well there's a lot of those people that we spot that he was just talking about a lot of them the new hub is now miami no it's not no it's not a lot of content creators like nelk and stuff yeah yeah just nelk that's it there's nobody else fucking there he's there Huge creator, massive. <laughs> Jeff, why don't you ask my parents some intelligent questions? Oh, God. Like, I ask did. my dad something. Yeah. He shuts me down every time. Uh, he's he's like, a fucking bo- tactician. He's a born tactician. He might as well be a chess player. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's already four steps ahead of you. He knows what you're going to ask after the question you're about to ask. I know. I can't believe you said you want to kill all the NFL. <laughs> <laughs> that is wild. Yeah, but- that's smart. See what the next line NFL players look like. Maybe there's some undiscovered talent out there just in the parks just- and... I love the NFL. I didn't say I wanted to kill the, the XFL. NFL. The XFL the comes XFL. up. That, Dad, no, do you have any? Dad, like do XFL. you have? Do you have any questions for us about life yeah. or anything? <clears throat> yeah. How do you guys differentiate comedy from reality? <laughs> that's a great. That's a great question. <laughs> um, I just look at everything like it's a joke. I try to find humor in everything. I, I know, but when does it end? Never. Where, where do you draw <laughs> the line? Where you can? I'll be joking at my funeral, my own funeral. That's what I've used to deal with things my whole life is just joking around about it i was always making jokes i was always making jokes because life is heavy life is just really heavy it's a lot it's a lot to deal with we have so many pressures so much shit to deal with in this life that we don't always need to be talking about it we got we have to live it we have to deal with listen, it every fucking day remember, and i get listen. in trouble mom i get in trouble for this shit from my girlfriend i get in trouble from with from everybody at what point do you want to get serious and i say I never want to get serious. I don't. That's why I love Mike, this kid. Mike. I don't ever want to get serious. I want to laugh forever. my way silly into the for fucking life. ground. I want to be silly for the rest silly of my fucking life. life. I'm never taking shit seriously. I pay my taxes. Shut the fuck up. I'm going to pay taxes <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, and not whoa, whoa, you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But I'm going to pay my control. taxes then I'm going to laugh. It's time to turn your back on him now. No, listen. When I like met, laughing. You can say this is true. He would come and it would be, we'd sit down to dinner and it would be really serious. Let's talk about this all these and the kids we would just laugh we would say the stupidest stuff huh. and he would get pissed <laughs> yeah. and that's when he, he would beat and me. he would yes. and he would shut up and then he would god damn it da, 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 and he wouldn't talk anymore because <laughs> you're a bunch of idiots you know but we would all right is that true absolutely absolutely true, true. <laughs> yeah <laughs> we were always idiots all of us because we like to laugh we I like see, to laugh i see it i see, see the why split we're divorced? That mike is half no no not 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 this not sorry not that kind of split just like mike genetics i see the serious side of him and i see like the silly side of him no but well, ironically i, I get I my sense of humor from him uh, he really? just yes he's he makes dumb he makes mom he makes dumb no, jokes just, that aren't related to any like in his mind right now he's thinking all these objects on this thing he's not thinking about any of the conversation we're having what are you thinking about right now dad There's no one on the show i'm thinking about what we're talking all. about actually <laughs> you're a good liar dude okay let's wrap the show okay. up all right thank you guys so much for coming well, and doing this I, us, I hope Jeff. i left a better impression on you this time I know Thanksgiving I made Jeff, a big joke I'm, of that Jeff, mockery I'm only, I'm only kidding with you mom do you love Thanks. Jeff uh, he, he's growing on me we like uh, Jeff a lot yeah. thank you guys well I, I love you guys it's, so I hope it evens out one day yeah all right, real quick, today's episode is sponsored by Prize Picks. Prize Picks is the largest daily fantasy sports platform in North America. It's the easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. It's just you against the numbers. Instead of battling thousands of other players, including pros and sharks, you pick more or less than 
on two to six player stat projections and watch the winnings roll in. It's that simple. You just pick a player that you like, even LeBron James, he's still playing even at 39 years old. Yeah, I, but he's, his bones are turning into dust, so usually I pick lower on, on him. But sometimes he still has spectacular performances and he goes over, but that's the game. You know, you want to guess, you want to predict what they're going to do. And it makes it a lot more fun watching sports when you got a little skin in the game. Prize Picks has quick withdrawals, easy gameplay, and an enormous selection of players and stat types are what makes Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. And if you don't even feel like picking your own guys, you can just pick alongside some of your favorite Prize Picks players like Meek Mill and comedian Andrew Schultz. You can now find them in Community Plays under the promo tab. Uh, yeah, you can do that. Add me on that prize picks. I want to, I want to be in that category. Go to prizepicks.com slash Jeff and use code Jeff for a first deposit match up to a hundred dollars. That's prizepicks.com slash Jeff and code Jeff for a first deposit match up to a hundred dollars. Thank you. Prize picks for sponsoring the show. Now let's get back on with it. You've never been arrested, right? No. Not, Not yet. yet. We'll see. I'm I am banned from CBS studios though. Why? For life. His, 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 uh, mic is... I think it's got like reverb on it or something. Oh, yeah. So guys, before we start, this is Eric D'Alessandro. We grew up together in Staten Island. He's a hilarious comedian. He started doing YouTube at, what, 12 years old? <laughs> You're hilarious with dates. Like I exaggerate them I a little like, bit. I was like 18. 15? 18. It started with the six. I still hear that echo. Is that just his voice is that nice? The fuck? Can I have it too? If he's going to have it, I'm having it too then. You can't speak until we get your mic fixed. So I'll just take this opportunity to speak for you. You were about 16 years old. You made that Sweet 16 video, which went viral. And that's what got my attention. Mm. That's what made me, that's where my jealousy started yeah. against you. I was like, you know what? This fucking guy, he's living out my dream. Yep. I want to do this with my life. We had met up. I gave you a haircut and I was like... <laughs> Yo, your videos are really dope. Like I wanna, I wanna get in this game. It was almost like I was trying to get into organized crime. Do you remember? Like, do you remember what what we met? What did you ask me to do for you? No. So I think I got it. We knew each other from the neighborhood, right? And then I, I think we played basketball at Holy Family probably, or something. I don't know. And are we the same exact age? You're eighty nine. Yeah, I'm ninety. Okay, but I made eighty nine by two weeks. I would have been ninety. I was like, that's just, irrelevant in school, Jeff. They don't care. Yeah. You're a, you're a fucking, you just feel like a left back. So you're 30, uh, what? 34. I just turned 34. We're the I, exact same I age. I had an early birthday. We're only like two weeks apart because my birthday's in January. But I thought you were going to hit me with like 29 or some shit right there. Oh, God damn it. Damn. All right, Cody, this is Eric. I know What's he up, looks Cody? like a sick fuck right now. His car was just vandalized and he wants to put that. Yeah. I mean, uh, he looks like, he looks like. He's gonna. Uh, he wants to. I did it. Maybe he's, he's thinking about. I don't know, man. He, he's been uh, on a rampage lately. I've told him pay it forward because okay. his car window got smashed. He was pissed that his stuff got stolen. Mm. So you've seen the movie Pay It Forward, right? Of course, I love that movie. So I told him to go do one of those, like a reverse Pay It Forward. Oh, go break into someone's car. Yeah. Yeah. Go. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> but we're not. We're, we're just messing around. But Eric's from Staten Island, so we were just talking about. Um, yeah, so how we met and what I asked you. Jeff uh, asked me to edit um, a, like a jackass style video. And was you, it? You were riding a horse with nothing. There was no oh, saddle. Okay. Yeah. You were just on a fucking horse. A wild horse. And, and I had I, a fake mustache on. And I was like, I love jackass at yes, the time. And I yes. was trying to get like my audition tape for jackass. Yes. And so you were asking me like how to edit, I think, and, and, and that mm -hmm. stuff. And I just was laughing like, what, what? What people don't know about <laughs> Jeff too is like we always knew that he was gonna be something. You would you were down to fight anyone, you were down to wear a pink polo. Yeah. You were down to ride a fucking dirt bike down the street with Wait, no shirt oh, yeah, on. You yeah. that was your reputation, you know? You were um, Yeah, I guess so. You were sexy before all this. So Jeff was Damn. cool even before he had followers. I've been telling people the opposite, that. Which I've is been... the opposite. A lot of people are losers and they get followers, they become cool. Yeah. Jeff was always I appreciate We're that because I've, I've you, been Jeff. telling people that nobody was here to vouch for me. I don't know what the hell it was, but Jeff was always like he ha he had that swag to him. You know, Jeff. I remember, people, do people know about the pink polo? Of the because pink? of oh, because of yeah, because I would do wild shit like fight somebody, but I would be wearing like the because I was inspired by Kanye. You love the, the Kanye. Do, have have we ever seen? Has people seen those pictures of that, Jeff? Does I any, think I wiped them from the internet. Yeah, they're gone. He, he used to have like you know you probably knew back yeah, then. The, the, the probably the yeah. hair. The, and polo, then, the poly D hair with the pink, the pink polos and. But uh, you had that too. You had poly. We all did. You had to have it. I had. I you 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 were good with hair. I didn't have good hair. I look like a fuck. I look like I got electrocuted. I didn't have a good. Well, bro, your hair is 
perfect. No, now, well, only because it's just pulled back. But you want to know why it's been this long uh, before I ask you to come on the show? Sure. Because you're more talented than I am. You're better looking. You have better hair. Well, I'm better and looking. you're from Staten Island. <laughs> so you're just going to take all my fans. Wait, so second. why don't we just show so Pete now, Davidson? That's what we should do. We should just sit around and talk about what... Oh, God. I, yeah. I struck a nerve. Was no, that, no. Pete Davidson's uh, my rival from oh, Staten yeah, Island. Oh, yeah. He's, he's know, everybody's rival. Yours, too. Your stand-up. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Real stand-up. Your yeah. special just came out. Yeah. You can check it out on YouTube. It's called uh, I Don't Understand. I released it with... Uh, 800 pound gorilla, but it's on my YouTube channel just for free. Yeah. You know, it's it's a link to theirs, but as soon as you go to my channel, you could. So 800 pound gorilla, they like <laughs> produced it for you? Not really. They like, uh, they kind of distributed it for, for me. Uh, this... Why don't you just put on your own channel? Um, like Brendan Schwab did. Yeah. Or Andrew Schultz. Did you see what he did, Andrew Schultz? They have a much bigger following than me. My YouTube is like my least. I have to get back to you. That's why I'm here. I'm trying to steal some of Jeff's subscribers. You're gonna. They're all uh, gonna fucking leave. I've had it happen before. I collabed <laughs> with that guy, Hassan. And he kind of looks like me, but he's like a little smarter. <laughs> oh, oh so, the, the political guy? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And a lot of them went over there. So I, I just, you know. They left? They left you? They left to go to the left. The left. There's a lot the political, of political. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot. Of, oh, I got you. Okay. Yeah, he's like liberal, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I was just cutting his hair, you know, and then half my mm. fans gone. Patreon numbers drop. No Just way. like that. They all went over there and now they're subbed to him. So I worried that would happen. Well, you know, I'm kidding, but a little serious, <laughs> you know. Uh, did you ever see his videos? In Staten Island, he's a fucking nah, he, local he's not interested. superstar in Staten Island. So am I. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> That's everyone on Staten Island. That's everyone. Yep. I was a local. Stay away from that kid. He's bad news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you are yeah. the bro, real Bro, I was one. doing this yeah. before all the years. Fuck was, that, bro. Yeah, I had the yeah. cameras. We went around, bro. <laughs> I had I the, the not even the cameras. I had the drugs. I had the TVs and the you Nissan got great Maxima. Teeth, though. You have drug dealer teeth, for sure. No, no. This is more like Hollywood now. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what they call them, Hollywood white. Yeah, Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood white. Yeah, drug dealer yeah. teeth are more like... They got jewelry on and like designer clothes and their teeth are all grimy. No, no, but I'm but you 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 have you're like the boss who like you know you you could tell that you you went to the dentist you made with a, it with out a, with of a bag Island of cash to get yeah, a nice yeah, veneer yeah, dentist. Yeah, yeah. There's only you paid the dentist in cash. That's pretty. That's what that, that's the vibe. Yeah, getting. that's it. <laughs> all right, sorry about that. I mean, yeah, no, yeah, sorry. Look, guys, I need to. We need to have a, a little bonding story here or something because the energy here is weird. We're all from Staten Island. We're brothers. We yeah. all met at Jimmy yeah. Max. What part I of Staten Island are you from? Westerly. Oh, uh, perfect. Two blocks yeah. away we yeah. grew up. I'm very close to... Yeah. Yeah. I, I Sometimes I pass his parents' house and I egg it when he's not there. Good. I, Good. That'll piss of, my dad off. That jealous of all of funny he, just he, thinking are about Are you still resident there? Are you still resident? Uh, my wife and I just moved back, actually. Yeah. Okay. I was living in... I lived in LA for three years, lived in Austin, Texas for three years, and then I just moved back when I got yeah. into the cellar in New York. So I moved back to... Uh, when, when are you going to come back to New York, man? I'll be back soon. Yeah? We're thinking about it because uh, oh, a lot really? of crimes have been happening. His car got broken into... I can't believe that. In the in the, in the building. No, uh, yeah, in another building down the block. But you got to believe it. This is Gotham. Yeah, it's... it's <laughs> when I, 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 I Because it's raining, I don't think that we, we, we've seen the full potential of... Right now like, is the time to strike scumbag. in the rain. Like, I know. Don't come but out like, in the misery, rain. Definitely. Misery. But I feel... When I was Pe living here, it was Thriller. It was yeah. literally thriller. It people was in dunk, LA dunk. are like all weird about the rain because it never rains. Yes, but I'm saying like I always told people that the 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 homeless people here are is that politically I don't know the unhoused. They're special. They come here to like there's mental illness. There's and then there's also like kind of was just at an audition. Yeah. So like one time I saw a guy playing the guitar with his with his box open and he couldn't play the guitar. Yeah. It was just one string and he was just screaming. And it was like, this is, you mix American Idol with Homeless. Yeah. And that's, that's Los Angeles. That's it. That's his way of panhandling. <laughs> you got to find some sort of skill to go along with it. And he was like, fuck it. I'll just make, I'll just try this. They're, they're scary. I've seen guys on, on bicycles with tubas, playing tubas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look, Jimmy Max. We Jimmy. all know that place, right? Sure. We're yeah. familiar with it. Yeah. He just gave me a couple of t-shirts, uh, Jimmy. I just went there and he, he finally gave me my t-shirts. I was like, hey, let me get a couple of t-shirts. I remember. It took years. To I remember in Jimmy Max when the cops used to come around the back. Mm. Oh, they, wow. And then we used to go outside in the back to smoke cigarettes and they grabbed my boy and <laughs> he told the cops, like, shut up, you pig. 
And they handcuffed him and they smacked him across his face like, you shut up. Oh, yeah, <laughs> You yeah. shut up. Mm-hmm. I was like, what and the fuck? And then this is before uh, yeah. body cams. Yeah, yeah, so yeah before like body cams. Oh, yeah, And you pull yeah, out a PBA yeah, yeah. card and then it's like, ah, oh, all right. And they let you go. That's yeah. something a lot of people don't know about, PBA cards. PBA cards. Because he hands the PBA cards to the cops out here and they throw them back at him. Oh, yeah. Maybe they don't have them here. We, yeah. Well, I had, they don't have them here and they like, we don't, they don't appreciate it at all. We're like, we have family on the force. We see things like that when we get pulled over. Sometimes you get a nice guy, but- um, yeah, PBA cards, for those of you guys who don't know, it's like if you have a family member or a friend that's a cop in New York, they could give you this like card that basically vouches for them. Like, I know a cop, so get me off this ticket. They don't always work. It depends. Some people have like, they, some people have, like gold ones. There's levels on like, it. Like my yeah. uncle is a lieutenant. You get like a, like a special one, stuff like yeah. that. Uh, yeah, but that shit doesn't work with narcotics. Yeah, I mean, this is I, I, <laughs> I made I made a right on red illegally. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. I, I don't have a body. Hey, in narcotics the trunk. come in. I don't give a fuck who you know. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, they're not gonna like. It's not really yeah. gonna yeah. jail for you. I cut people's hair, so I cut so many cops. I had a whole deck of them. I would oh, get out I of can't everything. Imagine. Yeah, that's of why I would do that wild shit because I knew I had that. Get so out, are you get living out of jail in a basement? Free car. Instead of no, I'm not living in a basement. Uh, I actually uh, it's a comedy. Uh, it's a comedy den. No, I got very lucky. In my neighborhood, there was like a brand new house that they built, and it's a it's a it's a two family. Oh, nice. so it's very it's very Staten Island. But oh, uh, so you're living back in Staten Island? Yeah, living back on Staten Island. What uh, neighborhood? Uh, Westerly. Oh, Westerly. I live in Westerly. Still so loyal. Right I, next I went to your back. parents. I right back because I, my wife. She she thinks I'm, we're going to talk about it a little more, but she she really wants to go to Jersey and get land. I don't know what the fuck millennial girls think they're doing with acres she wants to she, colonize she's gonna get a horse or something <laughs> she doesn't leave the couch but she's gonna ride horses in the backyard she needs six acres so it was just like like i said i, I got past at the cellar uh so i was like going i was like we got to move back and then we found a place this is for the interim i don't know but uh it was just for the meantime i don't i don't i, don't, I, I might i might buy something there i'm not sure i don't know it's just interesting you tried la then you went back home and you found all well most of your success happened when you went back home right no all my success happened when i came to la really i had to get away from home i had to like be on my own and really feel the fear of like i'm gonna be homeless if i don't yeah, if yeah I don't make get on, everybody, wants to, everybody wants to become a city worker if i was yeah. on Staten on i'd be a fireman right now they literally yeah. they literally called me to join the fire department a week before i moved to la i was putting all our stuff together we were packing the car all that stuff and they called me and said i'm your they have like a like a mentor or something that you get assigned when you become a fireman. Oh, so you were in and you were I, about to- I was literally going to like go go join the academy. Cause I didn't want it, but it was like union pension benefits. And yeah, that's what your parents all I, tell you. You need a pension, you need health insurance, yeah. you need these benefits. I think when you, you got to get out of your comfort zone. And like on Staten Island, man, I was just- There's nothing going on. I was too comfortable. Jimmy like, Max fucking- Nothing pushing me. Did you see uh, Dave Portnoy finally went there? I saw his pizza review there, but yeah. I thought Jimmy got killed. Didn't he? I think his get whacked. It was it was a relative of, of his. Damn, it wasn't was that, him. Was this when he's still alive? So Jimmy. Oh, like the 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 first Jimmy? I don't know because this is a historical place. This is where Cody and I met. This is oh, probably really? where you and I met. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, but the possibly. way things going, I might be back there soon. <laughs> I tell you what, when, when you when might you be back on the block when you it. when you're doing like when you're doing this shit and you go back, it's different. You, there there is not this like I felt like we were gone for long enough that I had a career, I had a path. I was not going to, you know, become a, a cop or a sanitation worker. With nothing wrong with that, but there was just wasn't the path for me. And once comedy started to take off and I could live off of it, I, I went to Austin for a couple of years, and then I just felt this draw this i was getting pulled back to like i love being around my friends and, and and family and my wife and i are married for a little over a year we'll start a family soon and it's good to be when i go on the road i'd rather her be near her mom or i've whatever. always felt that you should be more successful than you are like you're you're underrated still at this oh, point well i feel like you'll eventually go down like a sebastian maniscalco route where you could really lean into family i don't and, know because where you get a lot of your jokes from just your family life and family life married life Staten island stat being from Staten Island was more a lot more my like first hour i feel like it's not so much, i mean listen anytime i go somewhere at like and you're not from where we're from they think you sound like joe pesci yeah even though I, I, you have no accent. I don't know what the hell happened. To I yours. worked on it for a while. I know. You, you, you know, you really yours tried, is, yours really, is really not it. present. But I mean, you too. I try, but some words, you know, I'll say ball, shit like that. But water, yeah. mall. I'll say mall. Mall is really water, bad. Water. The mall. 
Yeah. The, the, the mall. The mall. <laughs> the mall. Yeah. The, the, the people still go to Staten Island Mall? When was that time you were there? Don't you go home for like Christmas and shit? Yeah, but I don't go to Staten Island Mall. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm hanging yeah. out there. I pop in. They made like the outdoor parking lot. Like into more structures. Oh, so they, they're expanding. It looks like a Jersey mall, but only on the outside. And when you go inside, it's the same place. It's very yeah. bizarre how they did that. It looks exactly the same, but they added a food court. Do you get recognized in the Staten Island Mall? Yes. They ask you for pictures? Yes. Is it men or is it- mostly? Oh, it's if I had to say like the, the people who, uh, the demographic that says stuff to me, mostly in public, it'd probably be 45 year old women. Yeah. Because I feel like the, the young girl, I'll see, you know, when someone recognizes you, they give you the look. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, I don't want to say anything, but you notice it. And then there's the people like, I don't give a shit. I'm just going to start yelling. I'm going to start telling yeah. him, do the voice that I like. I feel like the women, moms are more like, they What's don't- What's the Staten they have, Island? They have uh, no Maria shame. Maria Marie? Yeah, Marie, 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 Marie. I, won't, I won't ask you to do it. No, but. yeah, I mean, that was that was good for me, but- um, Crazy you know. getting recognized in Staten Island. Like if, if it ever happens around here in like a small town, it feels fake still to this day. Like it's like, it just feels like, uh, you're not thinking about it like that, but it really makes you think when like you're in Staten Island and I'll be walking around with my mom and like going really? to Ralph's Ices, like Ralph's Italian Ices and yeah, I'm outside in line and <laughs> somebody there will say something and uh, you know, just like crazy. I feel the exact opposite. Yeah. When I get recognized in Staten Island, it's like, I feel like, uh, I feel like I haven't made any strides in my career at all. It's like, I'm still <laughs> just a kid making videos. I think it's and just- And then when I get recognized in like, I got recognized in Disneyland when I was there one time from some kid in San Diego. And I was like, that was fucking cool. Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm getting out of this like, what I'm known for. A lot of people ask me, oh, do people laugh if they're not from New York? As if I go up there and I'm like, just talking about potholes on Highland Boulevard <laughs> yeah. or specific shit. I'm not, I'm a real, I promise I'm a real comedian who talks about other things. But uh, yeah, I think when I get recognized, like in, in Texas, when it happened, it was so weird to me. Yeah. I think it was super weird. Well, I, I left because there, there was nothing happening there. There's nothing really going on. At least when we were growing up, there was no opportunity. So you had to get out of there to make yeah. it. And I always looked at it as these people are going to hate on me if I'm trying to make it. And like, I'm wait, there. I remember people like, wait, you want to be a celebrity? Nobody <laughs> wants to be just like. I had known more opportunity for, there than nobody. I used to walk around with bulge of drug money. Well, had we're talking drugs. about real, realistic things that you real can, dreams. Oh, real yeah. dreams. I had the dream of a drug dealer. <laughs> yeah, so, right. but rich for water, me, rich for me water. to leave, right. for me to leave that and be like, I'm gonna go make silly videos online. I felt like everybody was just praying on my downfall, waiting for me to fail, waiting for me to come back. Like this kid thinks he's gonna make it. Watch him fucking. I would do that to people. When Vinny went on the Jersey Shore, I was like, this kid ain't gonna fucking make it. And then it became the biggest show in the world. Yeah, yeah, that happens. It's an interesting place we come from. We definitely come from. Do you think people are going to find this interesting because they don't? They're not from there. Would they be like maybe because Pete Davidson? Maybe oh, he, okay. he made it interesting. Uh, it, 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 I've always thought it was very interesting. That's why it's always been a topic of conversation for me to go to because I feel like it's hilarious. On the Jimmy Max review, dude, this girl at the end, she was like, "I thought you were lying," and I was like, "That is no one speaks like that." Yeah. No one speaks like that. Yeah. And it was perfect. And I'm like, that just encapsulates where we're from perfectly. Like if that girl was a character in, in, a, in a show, you wouldn't believe it. You'd be like, there's no one speaks like that. And I, I have a bit online where I say, girls talk like this, like, oh, and they trail off. And the, uh, older women were like, no one in Staten Island talks like this. I'm like, find someone below the age of 40. It's exactly how they sound. Yeah, and oh, even my mother sounds like there's that. There's gotta be a little inflection of when, you know, of of like this weird thing that that like the women there speak and I've, I've noticed the guys too it's a little more if, if someone speaks i can tell if it's long island jersey or staten island or yeah Brooklyn. yeah it's a specific accent yeah it only exists in one small island that had the dump on it which is a, it, the, it's where all the tri-state area trash would go so yep. it could possibly be from some toxic waste runoff into our bloodstream as that, kids that, that definitely did something that, yeah, smelling yeah. that growing up. Now it's shut down. They closed it down. They closed it down in, 90, in 96. Damn. And they opened it for a little while just for the debris from 9-11, and then that was it. Oh, they put some of the 9-11 debris yeah, over there. Yeah, they're trying to make it a park, which it's going to be- My, It is a park. But My dad be, rides his bike there every- Oh, boy. Well, every, tell your dad to like, get, a, get a sauna find or something a, find to reverse new, the effects <laughs> of all that. The, the only other places that have like their own specific accent like that, it's like the Scousers and like- uh, Liverpool and stuff. Yeah, Irish, I can't. Can, I like can you Irish. differentiate? I can't. I sometimes someone will speak and I'm like, is that Australian or or Conor McGregor or English? Conor McGregor's are Irish, so that's easy. Yeah, but like sometimes someone will be speaking. I'm like, this guy's Australian. Yeah. I have no idea. You ever watch the, 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 the Golden Globes? Like this, this fucking guy's British all the time, all the time. 
Yeah, half with, the people I like. With, I'm like uh, um, what was something I seen recently? The oh, guy from Succession, Salt, Salt Burn. Oh, I didn't watch that yet. He was on Euphoria, and he's like a, an American on Euphoria, <laughs> and then in this Salt Burn movie, he's. Was he British? But he's Australian. So it's easy for the Australians to do the British. Okay. To flip back and forth. But he, when he was on Euphoria, I was like, this is just some American douchebag. But he was just playing the role really good. That's pretty impressive. That happened when I, did you watch The Bear? No, I get, I see, I got a problem with jealousy. Like, I'm like, I should have that it's fucking It's so role. good that you, that you say that though, dude. That's so healthy. Is it? Yeah. I feel no like No one who's jealous admits they're jealous. They just say like, fuck that guy. People who are jealous of you are like, fuck Jeff, he's a loser. He's yada, yada, yada. That, yeah. they, they might as well just say, I'm jealous. Yeah. Because that's yeah. what they're saying anyway. Yeah. But they're trying to sound cool. We, that's what we're all hearing, you know, when someone's like. Just brutally honest. And, yeah. I and think that's healthy. Shame. Yeah. It's good to be. Uh, but yeah. I just didn't go that route. I didn't audition. I didn't do shit like that. But those tough guy, like fucking, you know, like those roles, I always wanted. Why didn't you? I'm sure you have opportunities to have an agent and stuff. It's just because this is the new thing. Yeah. I, I feel like this is. Right now, I get to sit here and talk, put this out tomorrow to more people that will listen to my words that I want to say. No, I'm not reading somebody else's script. And Very I, true. I did try a couple auditions and the scripts were shit. So I was like, it's tough. this is not fun. It doesn't seem fun. Yeah. And this seems fun because I could just have anybody I want on. We could talk about if some terrible shit happens, if his car gets smashed into any, they rob everything. Like this man, look at this man's face right now. That is a, a face of a man that wants to, he wants chaos. That's the Joker right now. Yeah. He wants to see the world. He's looking at me a little too yeah. Much. yeah, society's a dangerous place. Last night I was a victim. <laughs> yeah. Well, finally, there you go. 2024, you're a victim now. So yeah. just like everybody Karma else. Karma finally came back to you. You finally got me. After all those terrible things you've done to people, you finally got a taste of your own medicine. My father was a drinker. <laughs> Jeff, what are, what <laughs> and a man fiend. Wants to, uh... Oh, we got a weather segment. Let's hit. It. Let's oh, just do, sweet, do this really? quick. Yeah, <laughs> it's a wacky show. We I have, love like, it, Jeff. I love it. Things have changed a lot since our teenage years, Eric. Yeah, man. Let's get the oh, weather. It's this... crazy weather out there today. Yo, <laughs> weatherman. What's up, bro? How's it going? What's up with the weather? It's raining. <laughs> can we see? Maybe, can you, you maybe even put a light on in the room? Act like you give a fuck a little bit about the show? I know views went down well, last I, episode. It's just like, you're not caring about the show. Why do you say that? What so gives you that impression? What gives you that impression? Oh, here we go. Another criminal from Staten Island. Let's get him. He's not a, criminal. I'm not a criminal. I'm not a criminal. My father was a cop. I'm the opposite of a criminal. I sent you his Instagram. He's got all stand up there. You should love that. You're uh, aspiring stand up yourself. You should. I didn't watch any of that shit. I don't care. You didn't watch any of it. I right. no. Fuck that guy. You would have liked it. It's good quality stand up. It's actually like I feel like you two would get along the most out of all of the people in this crew. To look up this guy's shit, you'll learn a lot and learn how to fucking do some production what too. You, Cause you maybe you could put a light on your face when you're calling into a show with hundreds of thousands of people watching. Oh show the fucking God. wind to go out the window. Show the fucking well, rain. I, I'm sorry that you know you, you you get upgraded to co-host, then the next week you're back to doing the rain shit. I oh, told you we have Mike. We got Mike's parents on the show. We got Eric here. We have multiple people on this episode. There's a lot of moving parts. You can't be in the studio every single time. You still have a segment. Be grateful for that. Show outside the window or something so we can wrap this up. I look. I had... You see it? Look, there's water. You see water? It's right, there's rain. Is that what you wanted? It's weather out here. It's just, it's just insane, huh? Yeah. I mean, I, I, you guys should be excited. It's usually just... The same fucking weather. It's finally, finally different, different it's weather. Special. Oh, it's it's not on Netflix. Thanks for reminding me. Uh, it's on YouTube. It's not on Netflix. They I sent you all of this. I sent wanna. you this stuff. Why do you have to? I feel like he's trying to like he knows, but he's trying to. Jab no, that's at you. fine. I'm sure he doesn't like me. I, I people see my jealous. hair and they just like you said jealousy. At least no, I admit it. I'm not jealous. I'm Where are you doing stand up? Have you put out a special? Or are you going to open mics? Anybody can film us them on stage for an hour. Put it on YouTube and call it a special. Well, not with no, a, not, he had not a production company. Not with a crane. Not with a, well, not with an actual like crane and real. What are you talking about a crane? I had like a real. Why are you coming at me? I had a real setup. It wasn't just like cell phones. Yeah, oh, you had a crane camera. Yeah, I, I thought you were saying. I thought you were talking about a different crane situation. Yeah, he knew what he was oh, doing. No, oh no! 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 I think no. it's called the jib. Actually, I apologize. A jib. Yeah, let's get the proper terminology for this the, this gear. <laughs> So he had a jib filming. Sports? It was a big production. <laughs> <laughs> it was a big production. What's a jib? Oh, it's, Jeff, 
what's a jib? It's a it's basically like a crane with a camera on it that moves around so you can I get think it's on more creative shots. I think it's on wires. I apologize. I forgot then? about I How forgot much? that wasn't How a much? Um I didn't pay for it. A production uh, Adam Faldetta was uh, my 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 producer. He's uh, he's 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 shot specials for Netflix before. But I think now ne- there ne- you go. 800 Netflix pound gorilla is like, the production company. You should send them a DM and stop being a, a lousy hater, a jealous hater yeah. over here. Send them a DM. Say, hey guys, I'm an, you know I'm aspiring stand up myself, and you know I saw you, did my friend Eric's, and you know you guys are can friends I say now. That to them, can I say that we're friends? Well, not now. Can you I vouch mean, for him? This guy came out re- really hot. I don't know you. I mean, we, this was this. No oh one told me. No one told me these were going to be the vibes. Like. Like here you go. Hi. Oh man, where where is he? Twenty minutes away. Is he really a stand-up? Yeah. Is he, he good? He, yeah, he's funny when he's. When I'm he's, dropping in the improv tonight. If you want to, uh, go have a battle. If you want to watch me? No. Day I'm like eight miles. <laughs> I just heard the beat from Shook Ones playing in my head, and I just pictured I, I pictured Eric going here we first. Go. Back to crime. Eric, <laughs> Eric just roasting him, and then you hand him the mic, and he just chokes. Mm. He just Choke. chokes up there. Choke. Choke now artist. Then I would Choke train artist. And I'd come back and I'd be Eminem. Nah, all right. Let's see it. He's I would not love Eminem. I'm Eminem in that story. Nah. The way you framed it. I'm Eminem. And he's who? Well, lickety I don't know. Split? I don't know because Eminem. The black guy that he battles. I'll, okay, done. I want to be the black guy. All right. Look, I would love. There we go. Hit it just real quick. Oh yeah! Choke, 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 choke. That's gonna be all right. End, end it. Got Wait. It, so in it. that in that song, if I go first, then I'm Eminem because he goes first in the movie. He starts right. making fun of himself. Oh yeah. So I guess oh, I'm you black could be like, and yeah, I'm my M&M. special wasn't on Netflix. I post on YouTube yes, myself. Exa- uh-huh. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and I can't grow a mustache. <laughs> and I got a fucked you up beard. You take all his jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you fucking crush him. That would make him choke. Good. Yeah, I want to see this play out. I want to see this play out for the next like 20 years. <laughs> the trajectory of both of your careers. <laughs> see who's bigger in 20 years from now. He's gonna look like he's 80 in fucking three years. This guy. What's his name? He, you know, he's only twenty four years old. I, I was gonna ask how old how old you are. It's a pretty serious mustache. Twenty four. Really, twenty four? Yeah, that's nuts. I'm right? ten years older than this guy. Yeah, and you look younger. You look. I can't see you guys. It's all. I can't see you. Guys. Oh, that's so much better. Okay, because he he would be ripping jokes on me for sure if he could see me. What I'm do you sure. mean you can't see us? I had it on now, the camera. Now I can. Oh, now you. Oh, this God, is your first time. You're 34 and you're wearing camo pants? Grow up. <laughs> nice. Okay. I actually got complimented in the elevator. Yeah, thank you. Everywhere I go, I get complimented I on these. I, ca- I complimented him when he came in. I said, <laughs> um, I feel good. No, I think. What was he? What was he, uh, Kyle? I think he was a. Uh, uh, he was like a. He was, 20, he was Latino. Late Latino. 20 Cuban of descent. If you get like compliment, if you get complimented by someone of of Latino or yeah. or African American descent, the 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 compliment means more. Yeah, yeah. You know this kid, throughout his whole high school, he told everyone he was Italian when he's zero percent Italian. <laughs> what are what is he? It's not it doesn't matter. He's zero percent Italian. Japanese. You Eric Delessandro, you got an apostrophe in your last name. As Italian as it gets, yeah. this guy is pure jealous. It's just. He's projecting right now. He told everybody he was Italian his whole life. That stinks. And he wishes he was you. Well. That's fuck it. fuck, fuck the weather. Spe- fuck the weather. Fuck I'm making a special in one year. All right, cool. One Bro, year. one year this guy's going to be fucking huge. He's going to be bigger than <laughs> Pete ah, Davidson. I don't know about that. You better get you that. You know something? Larry David told me today that he was proud of me. Nice. And I'm not even making Prove it. Proof. There's got to be some pr- sort of proof. You can't just make these claims. I made a video yesterday about going to Latte Larry's. I had a fucked up experience. This is DM. Oh, I wanted to come. Send he, it to Oscar. We, your screen's all blown out. You just, all right. just send it over to Oscar. We'll okay, well, it. anyways, I had a curb moment at the pop-up of Curb Your Enthusiasm. This is actually cool, I, I want to tell you. And I made a video on it, and I was like, "Do you did you guys watch the show? Of course, yeah. Okay, do you know that when the chat and cut, do you know the chat and cut, like when someone's, comes up in, and they talk to somebody in front of you and they chat to them because they recognize them and they cut you in line, right? Yeah. Okay. This happened to me in line at the fucking thing and I yelled at the person. And I was like, yo, no chat and cuts. There's signs that say no chat and cuts mm-hmm. referencing the show. Yeah. So I like made a whole video on it and then 
I sent it to his daughter on Instagram and she said, this is fucked. And then I said, I felt exactly like him. It was insane. And then she said, show him. I showed him your video and he says, tell him I'm proud of him and love the story. Wow. I'm actually that I am proud of you if that actually did happen. Uh, yeah, it was so sick. And if you have so, video proof to back it up, then yeah, that is good. Cool. You know, good for you. Um, yeah, he told Larry David the exact joke that Larry David already did. <laughs> and Larry David said, that was great work. <laughs> yeah, but it was a real story. Uh, yeah, but he's and right. Eric's right. No, I, Eric's right. I, I, heard, I heard you. It just like, it sounds more like Larry and David's proud of his own work. I'm referencing one of the episodes. I mean, you Maybe just... If you weren't so fucking relaxed right now, you could pay attention. <laughs> you turned around and read the sign. Is that what the story? He yeah. said there were signs that yeah. said no chat and cut. So I said, hey, guys, no yeah, chat and cut. The same uh, uh, to water it down. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. basically. Yeah. That's basically what happened. I think he's, I think he's kind of doing it. Go back to Staten Island. We might. We might. I already did. Technically. You'll blend in. You'll blend in. You know, speaking of Larry oh. David, though, I did see a funny clip of him getting interviewed about why he did the crypto commercial because he's in a class action lawsuit now. Oh, and it's God. such a Larry David response. He was like, I asked my friends if I should do this thing about crypto, and they said it's all good. <laughs> yeah. You know, that stuff's taken off. It's a future. So I did it, and then now I'm in a class action lawsuit. <laughs> and, it, and it's just, it should have ended with a curb song. I know. They, they, he, money. That he was like part of the lawsuit too, because like they paid him in crypto. Yeah. And he's like, oh, and the crypto no went way. down, so now I'm out money. And it was just like, damn, I wish they just threw the song on at the end. You yeah. Know? I, what, why did he do it? They probably paid him a shit ton of money. Why does anybody go to work? Yeah. Don't you love that sellout story? People say you sold out. Would you be doing, would anyone be doing their job if they weren't giving them money? Isn't everyone a sellout then? Yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, you only did it for the money. That's what a job is. Yeah. People who work at Kohl's don't just love sweaters. Are you making good money doing stand-up? You, you, you don't have to answer that if you don't want um, to. Way more than I thought I would be at this level. Yeah, because so, you do you, you do rooms with how many people? Like um, the so, special one had to be like at least like five hundred. Yeah, the special the special was 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 five hundred. I did two shows, but then I did the, the theater across from it. It's a connect. It's the Count Basie Theater. I did that in October. There's like fifteen hundred people. In fifteen hunch, <clears throat> Ryan. You hear that? Fifteen hunch. Light work. <laughs> He's right. There's many a lot bigger venues. <laughs> Damn. And Gillis is doing arenas. Okay, he's young for a comedian, bro. Well, he's yeah, I mean, he's thirty four. He's still. I'm not that much younger than Shane Gillis, but Shane Gillis has been doing it longer than I have. I've only Shane Gillis looks a lot older. I've only than been you. doing it full time for five years. Before then, I does. He's a veteran and he has Down syndrome. What's your excuse? Um, I think before I became a comedian, my life was probably better than his and yours. Yeah, and mine. Just and trying Cody's. to be. Yeah, you had a good, well. I had. I just had a good life. Good yeah. family. Yeah. Good family. Uh, I think that's why it took me a while. Went to church, always church going family. I would always see you at Holy Family. Yeah, you, you, know? you don't even believe in God. I can uh, see that. I wouldn't either if I looked like I was in a silent movie. Yeah. So. Silent Is that a movie. Charlie Chaplin joke? You just look like every guy in the twenties. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love this. I love this. That I just mean, you're getting torn apart by a real Staten Islander. He lives there still. So. He's torn a real apart. one. This is what you call torn apart. I mean, you referenced my you're getting destroyed. bun. I mean, that's you're like destroyed. that's nothing. I mean, come on, give me, give me something. That, my pants. Yeah, surprise. I dress like a fucking twelve year old. I know that. Dude, I don't, I don't have time for a YouTube stand up, bro. I gotta go. <laughs> well, we want, we actually wanted you to watch it live <laughs> with us. We wanted you to put it on your laptop and just watch your reaction to it. Uh, all right. <laughs> when did you film that? Uh, when did you write it? So that, COVID, was it like? This? It was, yeah, there's some COVID. It came out a year after I filmed it. There's, there's a tiny bit of COVID, but it's it's only in reference to like politics and yeah. just how we reacted to it. Uh, not really COVID-y, but I, I filmed it uh, November of 22. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, and it came out in December of 23. Yeah, but it's still great. Stage presence, really, really, it's just really impressive, man. Oh, it's it's just you, cool man. to see. You know, where we all come from and what you're able to do with your life and what we're doing now, you know? Us, I mean, Cody you're I. really, I mean, I, I'm, I'm trying to get to the level you're at, Jeff, you know. Let's trade. You want to do stand-up? Do you like stand-up? Yeah, I wrote- I uh, congrats, and I was kidding, and I'll, uh, I'll definitely watch it. Oh, dude, uh, please. Go, but. Okay, thank you. It was great thank meeting you, you. Ryan. Okay. You do play a real good jealous hater. That fucking mustache. Yeah, that was a good 20s joke, Charlie Chaplin. I mean, I'm jealous of the, the Larry David story for you sure. You don't have to do that to make yeah. him feel better. Right. This is I'm part being, of the show. All right. Just being honest. Yeah, that's our that's like our thing that we do with the weather segment. 
it usually turns into oh, my God, that was a weather segment. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> forgot why I went to that guy. Yeah. So you want to be doing podcasting? Um, I did one with my wife for a little while. I just don't have it. Just those never work out though. I Nobody wants to hear a married couple talk. I guess you're right. I had some people that liked it. You, I don't have an Oscar and a Kyle to be. Fucking, That's true. You, they're incredible, and this whole setup is so dope. I feel like if it's not this, I I probably won't. You were almost one it. of them. You when you came out here, I was like, let's, I know, let's man. Join the team. I really some videos. You helped me so much. I have to thank you for that. You no, got, I didn't. You I did. Didn't. I mean, I you gave me a, uh, some money from one of your uh, paid ads one time. It helped me pay my rent for a couple months. You know. Really, I don't even think we got that far into it because you. I helped you with. I helped you with a couple shoots. You, yeah, you helped. With I had shoots, a drone. But, yeah, you, you had a something drone. Something cool with like the. I think it was oh, the, you guys, you guys did the lottery. Yeah, the California lottery. Oh yeah, we went up to like where the hell? money. We went Gambling over, money. We, we went did. over. I know. I've gotten paid from DraftKings too. I'm not proud. Uh, yeah, and no, DraftKings. Yeah, the, look, if it's fantasy sports, if it's as long as it's not like some my bookie or some like scam and crypto one, like this stake ones I mean, and stuff. I, I'm just people like. People like this stuff. It, I'm not like making anybody use it. I Just play. Like, I play you know, it hey. all the time. This episode sponsored by Prize Picks. There you go. If you guys want to have some fun, put get a little extra skin in the game. <laughs> download Prize Picks. Use my code Jeff. Um, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. My codes don't last that long. You just have like a, you know, like Old Spice. Right? Is that what you? Or no, 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 I have a more. product no, line now. Are you fucking shit. nuts? Look here, try this stuff out. This is all for you, actually. Yeah, I, I got something. All right. Hey, Royal, I'll give you a nice bag for it. Yeah, man, please. Pomade. This is good stuff. Yeah, do you use a lot of hair products? Uh, not as much. That's why I keep my hair long because I don't have to. It's actually less maintenance. So after you shampoo, condition, throw in some of that hair oil. Okay. Rub it in. Rub it in. Rub it in your moist, damp hair. Wow, this is some nice fucking packaging. And you'll have no frizzy flyaways. They'll, really? It'll take care of all that healthy hair oil. I have the crazy. You ever watch? Do we a wrestling guy? Do you watch like WWE? It, unfortunately, yeah. When I was very young. Yeah, when you're young. When I was young too. But like, if you watch Kane halfway through a match. That's yeah. what I look like. My hair is just like fucking crazy. So this, will this help? Is with he that? still alive? Can't, Can't, yeah, I think he's the mayor of Knoxville, Tennessee. No way. He's a mayor. Yep, he's an actual mayor. Is, he, is him and the Undertaker the same person? No, they're they were they were brothers. They're not real brothers, but they played brothers on just because they were tall with masks. On that was the, that was that was the uh, yeah that was the storyline. Yes. Undertaker went on Joe Rogan recently. Did he? Yeah. Okay. Which was, Wild. So you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, so I guess you didn't really watch wrestling if you thought Kane and Undertaker were the same person. I didn't. No, I didn't. Uh, I wasn't that big into, into it. it. Okay, All right, I was huge. Did you but ever, I was a child at one point in my life. Did you ever get Pokemon cards? <laughs> you don't strike me as a Pokemon. I was guy. into Pokemon cards. Were you really? Yeah, I was big into them, and I was hustling too because I was like, I wanted to make this into a business. I think these things are going to be around. They're either going to like blow the fuck up, or they'll take a little time off and then come back. Yeah. Or I didn't think they were going to come back because I gave them, or I allowed my mother to give them to my cousin. And I had fucking like a nice binder. Yeah, I had like a whole row of Charizards, like fucking nine of them on on one thing, like a photo album with all these cards laid out. It'd Shit. be worth a billion dollars today. Yeah, your but boy Logan Paul fucking, has uh, one of those, right? Yeah, Something my like that. yeah, my boy Logan. He's fucking got all all them cards. He comes out wrestling with one on. I his, know. So you would have uh, you would have had all those probably. You could have sold him. Could have ripped him off. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, it always goes back <laughs> to smuggling. Been, that would have been nice. He I, he saw he saw when Logan first won that wrestling belt that uh, oh really oh that's first he, of all he held if there's anybody that I'm jealous of it's some a YouTuber becoming a fucking wrestler that's the coolest, that's a wild that's crossover. the coolest thing I've ever seen yeah he's good too like he can actually wrestle really well yeah he's great at it it's insane how athletic he is at, at his at fucking like the size of that's him so cool that he does flips and frog splashes and shit but also Jake you know they're, it's cool to see that they did that from social media you know absolutely. Yeah, man, that's a thing too. With like with with, with stand up, too. Like a lot of a lot of I know a lot of comedians. Like people start off on social media and want to become stand ups, and it's like you can talk shit, but if they're actually doing the work and they're getting better at it, I think that's all it is. Like people talk shit about him, uh, Jake, because he want to be a boxer, but he's winning everything. So it's yeah. like, how can you really? And Jake and, and imagine Logan. comedians had bat like that was how they went off of it. Like what we just tried to start. Oh, like man. who's a comedian I that you get, think is is destroyed. overrated right now? Uh, overrated from New York. I don't really know that many from New York, to be honest. What do we got? We got Pete Davidson. We got Andrew Schultz. We got, uh, I, I don't know. I there's mean, a lot. Could, I mean, they're, they're, they're like uber successful. You can't, you, you know. Num just numbers is, you know. Pete <laughs> Davidson, I like his new special because he, I feel like he's leaning more into that scumbag, like older mentality where okay. he's not like, it's just tough to be taken serious as a comedian in your 20s. He has it tough because he has such a reputation that precedes him. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, people know his name and don't even really know what 
what he does. That's mm -hmm. like, that's gotta be tough. And he's clearly having problems with it. It's, you know, I'm always seeing he's going through something. I mean, I, I hope he's doing well. I don't, I yeah. don't, I don't know. Yeah. But he, his, did you watch his, his recent I special? No. Yeah. I, that's another one that like, I'm like, I don't even want to fucking watch this. Cause if I like it, I'll be mad, but I watched it and I was happy, <laughs> but also Pete, like, you know, he, his father, he died in 9-11, yeah. you know, my mother survived 9-11 because people like you know his father were going in there to save oh people, your mom you know? worked in one of the towers yeah right? she worked in one of the towers oh, so i just feel like there's so many similarities there so to see him like figuring his own style out now I've, it's it's cool to see you know it's cool to see with you too i'm not yeah. a hater anymore like i was when i was younger like we all come from that staten island mentality where it's like fucking fuck everyone just anybody that does good let's rob them <laughs> you know i still have that mentality you do right yeah. now but I it's just because i got robbed last night yeah. And I was just like, damn, I'm so, I'm not doing good no more. What goes around comes around. That, that's what's going to happen now. You know? It has to happen. Allegedly. <laughs> just saying, you know, sometimes. Allegedly. Have you ever cracked a window open before? It depends what kind of window. Ah, well. Yeah. One I time he locked he gets his keys in the car yeah. or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why. I mean, yeah. uh, wait for a locksmith? Nah. <laughs> just to look bro you fucking He's look fucking nuts scary. right now you look back in your staten island days <clears throat> i know you're really going through it and i'm i'm here for you eric's here for you we're gonna make sure everything's all right yeah, no, everything's fine i'm just digesting it emotionally as a human you know yeah i feel like i was do. violated i saw i can a, imagine i i saw a post from gary v the other day he said that we're already 12% into 2024. Yeah. What have you done? And it made me think. I was like, why the fuck am I still following this guy? You know? <laughs> <laughs> Everything he says makes me mad or, or depressed. You yeah. know? Fuck this guy. Are you friendly with him? Do you know him? Yeah. 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 But who's I got Gary no problem v? with saying, Who, who's fuck v? those posts. Fuck that motivational shit. You're projecting if you need to tell people that. When you post things, when you're like, I'm out here grinding because you're not or something. You're like, your days are like, you posted something the other day. You were like, I need, like, you need to convince yourself to go to the gym. I need to convince myself to have a day off. That's what you put on your, yeah, yeah, yeah. On your Instagram story. Yeah. That's pretty yeah, good. I like to and then people. I looked up, I, like to piss I looked up the run that you did. Something's in an add up on your Strava. <laughs> now we talked about this in the past and I take it very serious. You know, I put in the work for it. I'm only yeah. uh, cheating myself if I lie to my followers yeah. about how fast I ran. Yeah. So you went on a run and it was an impressive run, maybe 10 miles. But then at the end there, there were some records broken. There was a, a like a segment in there where you're doing a two minute mile. You ran a two minute mile, which is impressive because that's double the speed of the world record no, that no. you were able to pull wow. off. I'm just wondering, maybe you hopped on a bird scooter. Or <laughs> no, maybe there no, was like no, a, no. I got blisters on my feet. If I go track this down, if I go in the Strava data, Everything adds up. There's nothing Everything suspicious. Okay. I'm just saying, I saw the stats. You're getting awards from people that bust their fucking asses. I'm getting Women are out awards. there. You wow, beat, you good. took the record from a woman. You took that record from a, a hard work track problem. star. This is America. Look, do you want to argue? You want to argue? You want to argue that uh, men, transgender, shouldn't be allowed in women's sports? Well, look at what you did. You stole accomplishments away from women. And you cheated. You didn't even actually do it. You lied about it. And you took a fucking city bike down a hill and ran your watch, ran your Strava account. I'm sorry you had to be here for this, Eric, but you know how Staten Island people act. I, I get it. Only somebody from Staten Island would lie on their fitness app about how fast they ran. I think people, I lied on my resume a bunch of times. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you did lie. Was it a I bird think, scooter or what was it? No, no, I didn't lie on Strava. Did you get in the car and drive at like 10 miles per hour? What'd you do? Because it pissed me off. <laughs> and I think about it when I run up Runyon and I'm playing in my head. What is it? Were your vest I, on? No, in my head is just that song. Um, There's my hero. You know the song? Uh, uh, Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters. Foo, yeah, that's what's playing I in my head. I did 20 miles this weekend. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's what I'm doing. I'm putting in everything I got. Honestly, and then to see somebody take my record off the digital, the digital medal that they give you mm. because he was on a fucking city bike. And he was logging it. Can't they know if you're in a vehicle? 
Doesn't it know? This guy knows how to cheat shit. Yeah, I guess he you're knows right. how to cheat everything. Yeah, there's a well, there's a will, there's a way. Yeah, he's yeah. probably on the bird scooter because you have to have the motion, the watch. Oh, it that's knows brilliant. if you're not actually that's moving if you're driving a car. Yeah, so he's. I use on. AI now to write job job resumes. <laughs> he's still and like re and, GBT, right? and like rehabilitation letters, like AI, like write me a letter on drug recovery <laughs> and felony uh, recovery, and it'll just like, and then it's like. Like show my remorse and all. I was like, oh, this is perfect. Let me what just do sign do, it do, and send it in like that. What do you have to? What do you have to send it in? Do you have like a? You have like a probation officer or something? No, no, no. I think I sent it into California oh, to. Uh, there's so many agencies that I have to deal with. I think I sent it into Canada. I'm trying to get into Canada. Ah, yeah. I have a friend of mine actually got a uh, got some got arrested yeah. for something and, and uh, she can't go to Canada. Yeah. yeah. So well, I I didn't I didn't plan to get into this this episode. You know, I, I just, it's been on my mind. And I recently became a local legend on this app that we, we were talking about. Yeah. I put a lot of work to get there. That means I had to hit that same run up that mountain like 30 times in like a month, which I travel and shit. I had to go do it in the rain to beat this guy that has no idea that I'm thinking this. Like, I'm like, I gotta wake up tomorrow to beat this guy that doesn't even know I exist. But I'm gonna take this record from him. Yeah, that's that's some pretty strong work I think you got over there. Well, we don't really have jobs. Like, I don't consider this like, that hard so i like to punish myself with shit like that i treat that type of stuff as like my hard work Maybe and then i is... and then i come in here and it's just fun just talking shit calling out my friend on his lies and stealing stuff <laughs> accomplishments off of women yeah but i'm feeling better right now i kept my peace i don't <laughs> I give a shit class, about though. the shit that got robbed out the car I was it anything less. irreplaceable everything was replaced except for the dubai marathon medal they took that? They took but that. But it was fraudulent anyway. <laughs> no, no. <That> was, <laughs> I, have, I have documented time online. I collect my medals. It's the only thing I wanted. You probably but. hopped in a fucking Dubai Uber for the last yeah. six miles of yeah. that. Yeah. I don't believe anything anymore. I don't even... I don't, you probably broke your own window last night for sympathy. Ooh. That's a plot twist. Nah, oh, his fuck. eyes. I could tell when he's way he's mad. looking at me. Yeah, he, no, looked, no, no. he looked at Eric like he was like, <laughs> back in the back of Jimmy Max, man. <laughs> I just, Jimmy Max. <laughs> I'm, yeah, it's just, you know, it's just, you, when you deal with stuff your whole life, you know, it's just like, you can't seem to get a break. Yeah, I guess, you, I guess. You don't know. You grew up with good parents and a good family. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? That was just, you know. The, like, uh, yeah, you guess. You have no idea what I That's why I said I with. guess. Yeah. I guess. I, mean, I can only yeah. guess. What am I going to tell you? I, I can't fucking relate to you. You must be yeah. lying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, sounds like a fucking therapist that went to like a college study. Like, bro, you can't relate to my experience. Like, <laughs> well, they call that, uh, that's, uh, that's lay knowledge yeah, yeah. versus expert knowledge. Yeah, you know, that's called going through it and reading a textbook <laughs> this is yeah. so different yeah, yeah, yeah. How you this, grow is grow <laughs> this is a scholastic yeah, term yeah. for that i'm just saying i think right. the only thing we have in common we ate the same fucking pizza from jimmy max yeah chicken rolls that's from it brothers. chicken rolls from brothers i just had a chicken roll from brothers actually yeah one time he ordered a bunch he had uh filippo what's his name or giuseppe or some shit one of uh, those the filippo is the brother and then there's um Giorgio. Right Giorgio. Giorgio. Yeah. I remember. So he just got out of jail and I, you know, I picked him up. I brought him down here. He was in jail. And I can't California. even go to jail no more if I wanted to because everything's like crime free. <laughs> yeah. They don't put people in jail no more. Yeah. So it's like I'm it's doing, so it's like I'm thinking of things like, ah, oh, should I just go back to crime? I'm like, damn, it's not going to put me in jail anyway. Yeah, Los got, Angeles you, is not a crime free yeah. zone. It's a free crime zone. Free crime <laughs> so zone. take advantage of that. <laughs> yeah. Use your skill set. And New York has a no bail policy. Yeah. It's a better time than ever to do crime. Yeah. And it's still City Hall. You ever seen a? Yeah. So you could do crime in New York and then go to Florida and spend the money. <laughs> is that a call, is that and a then go back <laughs> to is that New a York. Back? <laughs> no, I was just saying, you know. <laughs> Does that make sense? That makes perfect sense. Yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. Look at us. <laughs> we really do. Uh, us three, we do have a lot in common. Yeah. You know, we might not think it right now, but we do. You got me started doing this shit. I yeah. like actually. You. Uh, there's many other people like I owe. Parts of my career too. Obviously, the bathroom boys. You know, you got me boys. into this shit when I was trying to make that stupid video when I was 16, 17, whatever the fuck, fist fighting outside, and then come back in. Yo, can you get me into this shit? I want to get into YouTube yeah. editing. Yeah, man, that was. Uh, <laughs> I, I, you fucking blew up way before me though, dude. So, well, it doesn't matter. It's you know, it's a it's a marathon. It's not a sprint, and it's not the Dubai marathon. We're not half assed. We have it. no proof that that even existed anymore. Yeah. 
So yeah, because allegedly the window broke <laughs> and allegedly the metal was in the bag that yeah. was stolen. I, I got fucking proof. I could. Oscar, the, do you want to see the picture of the broken I, window? I don't believe pictures nowadays. It's True. probably AI. Yeah, I believe in that shit. Unless you got Swift. hard metal evidence in here. I'm not believing shit. Here's hard evidence. Even Hold that on. could be true. You, t- you take off, you're wearing the fucking Apple goggles. Yeah. Just a smashed window. What kind of car is who that? Who knows who did it? I don't want to say what kind of car oh, is. Too oh. many viewers. All right, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. You want me to show it? They, they <laughs> might fucking go and bash my shit. Yeah. I'm yeah. trying to be a man of peace. How long are you in town for, Eric? Uh, I'm leaving uh, tomorrow night. Nice. Good. Good. Get Good out of here. <laughs> Good for you. Good. Man. Staten, Staten Island's safer than this place right now. It is. Staten Island's always been pretty safe. Not when I was there. <laughs> there was <laughs> Where the hell you are? <laughs> oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, you can't tell what kind of car that is. You could probably, uh, somebody knows. Hey, let's not play guessing games Some here. Just a there. fucking it's car with a window, <laughs> that's it. What's that? Is that a- it's <laughs> another bag. Thank God they didn't take it. They, they, they didn't take now the whole duffel, duffel bag, the other they bag. They took the bag. They had No, they the took the suit. designer duffel bag, not the fucking other one. See, that's why I don't get designer. It's all bullshit. Yeah. With his la- laptop in it. Which no, ah, I, thank God I took my laptop out to go show the dude. I went to my friend's house to show him something on the laptop, and I didn't put it back in my bag. I put it in the back of my seat of my oh, car. Oh, that's so the laptop was still there? I still got the laptop. Oh, that's fucking great. He, it's When he gets really mad, his Staten Island accent comes out because he was calling it a laptop. My laptop. Laptop. My, they didn't take my fucking laptop. Mm. Somebody has to pay now for this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who, but <laughs> we got an, I do? We an got eye a, for an eye, bro. We got an Uber That's today. Let's go put it on the we, screen. Look, I didn't look, do that. He woke up early and took his car to the to the shop to get the window fixed right away. Mm-hmm. So we get in an Uber now to go pick up the car. The Uber driver goes, you uh, get your window broken. This guy's like 90. Yeah, yeah. And he goes, yeah, you win on it? And the guy's <laughs> Bro, like- how the fuck did he even you know? You had called no the Uber way. to a glass shop, a yeah, window and shop. Then, and then he's like, yo, did you I'm get like, your window cla- broken? I'm like, yo, bro, do you know something that I don't know? <laughs> How the fuck do you know that my car window got broken right now? You know what? I'm starting so to So I started pressing him like, yo, that, who's the call? No, you're going to a glass shop. I'm like, bro, that could be the corner I'm going to. I think you had something to do with this. <laughs> the poor guy was 90. And I he's swear. like, yo, I'm just an Uber driver. I was like, oh, bro, now you're just an Uber driver, bro? Come on, bro. That shit was hella suspicious. Imagine your window got broken last night and then you get in a car randomly and the first thing the guy says... Yo, did you get your bri- window broken last night? How does that? How does that? How do you think that if makes? You, it? If you if you call an Uber to the movies you're, you're and you get in the bro, car, I don't like care about going no to see age. a movie. You gonna bro, fucking hit him? I don't care about no age, gender, culture. <laughs> Anybody <laughs> could be a suspect at this point. Okay, you're leaving out a pretty key. I'm detail, not gonna leave though. out a guy because of his age. Dude. He's <laughs> might even a smart criminal. You call into a glass repair shop. I have the business card. Bro, you ever see those 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 uh those channels where guys don't get caught for murder until like their 90s and stuff? <laughs> this poor guy was the nicest yeah. guy yeah, ever. Yeah, bro, this guy could be one of them, bro. He this was guy the was the nicest like, guy ever. Why? This guy, the, it, Wait, why did you? Because his responses to okay, you. Okay, hold on. So if he if he did it, why would he say that to you? <laughs> Reverse psychology. <laughs> Instead of just getting to make me think that he didn't do it because he's asking about it. But him saying nothing would basically make him believe, make you believe he didn't have anything to do with it. Hey, uh, Uber for uh, Cody, your name is? Yeah, yeah. Uber for Cody? Yeah, that's it. That's all you had to say. How the fuck you know my name's Cody? (laughs) Yo, you gotta, you you need to do something. I don't know what it is, but we need to like either go take action. And by that, I don't just use your imagination. I guess we gotta go find this Uber driver. <laughs> no, he's not not no, doing he's it. Not a, we gotta I don't, find I don't the real he's culprit. A suspect. Why he had a good alibi? So the bag gets stolen. He calls me up furious. I'm like, all right, let come, let's meet up and we'll figure it out. We go back to the scene of the crime. He had AirPods in the bag, so we realize that the AirPods are moving to Van Nuys. Oh shit. So we go out and we're now we're tracking these motherfuckers down. We're gonna go to a random house and it's an operation. We get there and there's another car that pulls up, another like group of people that just hit a bunch of spots and they're coming to drop their shit off to either get like broken off like half price or whatever. So he's out there standing in the rain with, I got a video. Oh my God, I'm just picturing him with oh, this, with this music this. playing that Oscar's playing, him just standing there. <laughs> Fucking mad, man. <laughs> I'm outside the house. 
imagine you looking <laughs> He was banging on doors. <laughs> he, we got these kids trapped in a in a in a dead end because they peeled off when they saw us. Because they don't know if we're undercover. Bro, so I have every right fucks. to recover my property. Okay, but I'm not I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it's funny you're in the ring with an wait, umbrella. Wait, 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 what, happened? Numbers, what happened? They're all dead now. No, they, we, so, <laughs> we, we, there's no we could do. You can't call the cops. They don't yeah. care. But Even the thing is, I know. But I'm saying, did you actually? Bro, look, it's hard for me to call the cops. They sped off. They they all got scared. They got spooked and they ran away. And I think the operation is now over you didn't want to chase them and do what to them eric it's like it's very hard this Look, fucking guy? it's very hard because growing up in like society i wired my mom's a mindset to be anti-cop he's a monster so the thing is like now at this age i have to be in prison and stuff and doing all this stuff it's like i don't want to get my name put in police reports so you catch an assault charge because yeah. you got robbed and, and that guy's going to get nothing and, and now he's back in jail. And I think that's still part of me oh, growing. I, dude, you, I understand But I feel like totally. even though like I'm that's living... That's Island mentality yeah, and you're going to go fuck people up and you think there's no consequences. Yeah, yeah, the thing is like now I live like a law-abiding citizen life, but I still <laughs> think like, like I can't call the cops because of code. Yeah, the streets. Or like, like the mafia. Yeah. I just built it into the, my head. like are the street police. Because I know when the cops Vigilantes. come, it's like a catch-22. I mean, they look to arrest not, everybody. Yeah, you're not gonna, they're not going to go after somebody for AirPods. Let's be real. They're, no. They don't give That's why I'm outside that guy's house, because I'm going after him. I thought maybe you guys Citizens found him or arrest. something. I don't know. And we caught some him. other guys. I would have cut his ear off if he had those AirPods in. <laughs> Right hey, outside. Why, I just wanted to do you like, what do you think we did? Honestly, I just we wanted them all. Right? Honestly, I just want. It was pouring <laughs> raining, and I just wanted to get into such like a, or like a crazy street fight in the rain, <laughs> just ripping off my shirt and he bleeding. Wants chaos. He wants yeah, I wanted chaos. He wants to yeah, I. Yeah. It's probably a good thing you didn't find anyone. I'm happy that I didn't because it's, I, I probably would have never made this podcast. Today. When I came down here yeah. this morning, he had the Dark Knight on TV. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It was the interrogation yeah, scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Where are they? laughs> no, the one where like uh, when the Joker was telling all the mobs, he's like, "I know why you guys have your meetings in the daylight because you're scared of the Batman." <laughs> Where's the Italian? Uh, yeah, he goes, "I want half." Mm. Like, who is this That's clown? I was like, "Bro," so I was just trying to like get myself enraged. Like, fuck this place. Yeah. If I got taken out, everyone's getting taken out. Yeah, and that's a good message to leave off on, kids. That's pretty good. Everybody that's watching this show at home. Um, I hope you learned a lot. I hope you guys go watch Eric's special. And you, Yeah, but you I don't feel his, like, like I, just because I got caught slipping, I shouldn't do Pray anybody else Pray for Cody, too. Pray for Cody. Yeah. Um, Pray he's for going Cody. through a tough time, but you know, there's ups and downs every day. Yeah. And yesterday was a down day for him, and today will be a down day for somebody else. But... Hopefully, it's a person that deserves it, not just an innocent bystander. I'll be on his ass. I'll be watching him, and I'll make sure that he'll get a bad guy tonight. And another bad guy off the streets, thanks to yeah. re reformed Cody. I'm a vigilante, bro. Which So would you be more of a Batman or the Joker? I would have to be taking out criminals now. So that Batman. Yeah, I'm Batman. Can you say it with more Because of I like used a, to be the Joker. Yeah, how about, can, you, can, you give, can you give us a little, like, I'm Batman. Yeah, that's how he says it. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta well put was? the deeper voice on. I, Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> right. Where are my iPod, my AirPods? <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, we gotta go. We gotta go fucking kill someone. So we gotta, right. get, we gotta get out of Let's here. Let's go jump somebody. I'm gonna go outside and just choke somebody in the rain. <laughs> Where are my AirPods? <laughs> outside his house. <laughs> <laughs> that poor Uber driver, I swear, I, that story is 100% true. Oh. It, was, it was so awkward. But I tried to make it right. Like, 